Today we're making sauce bolognese from the leftovers we have from making the marinara sauce the other day. The rest of this will go into a lasagna later. We go straight to ingredients we need. One onion, one stick of celery, one carrot, and of course, these are around one and a half pounds of ground beef. That should be enough for having pasta with sauce bolognese and have enough left over to make a lasagna later. There is another ingredient you do not want to miss on a sauce bolognese, and that is a glass of wine. Red wine, preferably. You can use white if you have that open, use white wine. Red wine is a slightly different flavor, but both works. A quick word about the ground beef. If you are vegetarian, you know, you can replace this with either one of those fake ground beefs, uh, which I personally am not a fan of, or you can just replace it with a crumbled up tofu. You roast it a little bit harder and you use it instead of the ground beef. If you want to do that, there's a whole bunch of recipes online to make tofu crumbles which is essentially seasoned crumbled tofu and then it's usually often roasted and that gets a little closer to what ground beef tastes like. But, you know, plain tofu that you crumble up and give it a hard roast before you pour on any liquids will do the trick just fine. That's probably three, two, three tablespoons. Toss in my ground beef. I'm only going to spread this out and then do not stir. Let this sit and cook. Otherwise, you introduce too much cold into the pot. Let it sit, let it roast and get brown on that one side. And then after, you know, three, four, five minutes, when it's starting to get brown, you turn it once and let it sit again. Otherwise, all the water will come out of it. This is true with tofu or with beef, doesn't matter, or with the Beyond Meat stuff. It's always the same principle. So there's a lot of water in all of these products. And if you turn that over too soon, you do not get a sear. You lose all the water and you're essentially boiling your meat or tofu or whatever it is. There we go. So now we turn this. Turn it once. Let it sit again. After a few minutes, again, things start to stick to the bottom of the pan here. See that? That's good, that's all flavor. Particularly with something like tofu, you really want this to happen because that gives it a lot more flavor. We have a lot of fat in here and I would just dip some uh, paper towel in here, see, and that will drain off a lot of the fat. See, we get the crispy crunchy thing going. This is the time when the wine comes into play. So I'm just going to pour in a glass of wine and that deglazes the pan, lowers the temperature. So all the bits and pieces should come off the bottom. See the pans getting clean. You want all that wine to evaporate and it should start sizzling again. That's your goal. So now we're in sizzling territory again and this is the time when you add your vegetables. You add the onions and of course carrots and celery. You stir that in and let it start roasting. You may have noticed up to this point, there is no seasoning involved. Salt would draw out moisture. So I do not season the meat before it's properly seared in there. Since I'm going to use the leftover marinara sauce we made earlier, I don't use a lot of salt here. The marinara sauce will have salt and we can always add salt later when it's needed. If you're using a can of tomato, it depends on how much salt is in there, so read the label. But generally don't add too much salt right now and wait for it till everything came together and then sample it and add more salt when needed. This is good. What I'm gonna do now is add the marinara sauce or you add a can of tomatoes. See, 
see it's coming together nicely. I can go down with the heat. This is too hot. But you can see it's already a pretty thick sauce. That's because the marinara sauce was boiled down so far. The thing with sauce bolognese is it takes time. Of course you could eat it now. It won't be the same. So this needs to cook for somewhere around three hours. You can eat it after like half an hour and that's fine. It will be good. It will not be as good as it could be. You might have to add a little bit of water in the process, but if you are using meat, I would say three hours is the minimum. You know, with the tofu, I would probably go for half an hour to maybe an hour and then it should be good. But the beef with all the cartilage and, and connective tissue, that breaks down nicely. And you go to a really low heat, just that it barely simmers. You could do this in a crock pot if you want it. That would work perfectly. Set it on low, forget about it for half a day. All right, I set this to three. Maybe I'll even go down to two out of 10. And I put a lid on and let it simmer. And I'll see you in a few hours. I just swing by every now and then and give it a stir and that's it. A couple of hours have passed and now let's see how our Bolognese sauce is doing. It's definitely bubbly. See all the nice oil that came out of it? It's like a volcano. There we go. At this point, we're just gonna do a quick sample here. Grab a spoon. Don't burn your mouth. This could use a good sprinkle of salt. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of oregano. This is a whole oregano I get out of my yard. And it of course makes a mess. Now that's what I call a sauce bolognese. Let this simmer for another 20 minutes or so, so that the oregano mingles into it. And then we can call this dinner. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. It's a little grind of Parmesan cheese.